What's up, YouTube? It's Siren Killed with the Delray Customs YouTube channel. I got here today a 1949 Chevy Coupe Deluxe. We're going to go ahead and do a full Kenwood audio upgrade system on. We're going to keep the stock head unit. We're going to add an iPod integration with an audio control LC1. We're going to do some Kenwood Epsilon subs, Kenwood Epsilon amps, and some Kenwood Epsilon speaker. I'm going to take you through this build step by step. We're going to time lapse and show you the whole process it takes to build a quality audio system. Sit back and relax. It's like gold dust, you hear me coming through your speakers At the end of day one, we got the uh, speaker mounted up in the dash, the car completely torn down, all the wiring ran. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and continue tomorrow exactly where we left off today. Good first day on a car, this is not really how it happens, we tear everything down, we get it all cleaned up, we start doing the little stuff first, get all our wires and cables ran, we got the LC8i installed that's going to run the iPod direct connection running the amplifiers on this car. And that's pretty much all we did today. Um, a lot of work got done, a lot of little behind the scenes stuff. But we'll be back tomorrow to bring you day two. Thank you very much and have a good evening. Here we are at the end of day number two. We got the Kenwood amplifiers installed. We're using the XRS4 and the XRS1 
Exelon amplifiers. Mount it right up in there. Come around to the inside here. Let's open up the door. Peek in. We have the kick panels now fabricated. We're going to wrap those tomorrow in some black leather. Make them look nice and clean. But we got the molding and everything done. That side's completely done. There's the processor. All our wiring's done and ready to go. I'm going to go home, get some sleep. We'll be back and uh, do some more fabrication on day number three. to come over i got an excuse might be holding your hand but i'm holding it loose go to talk then we choke it's like our necks in the news avoid the obvious we should be facing the truth start to think it could be fizzling now kind of shocked because i never really had any doubts look into your eyes imagine life without you Alright, we're at the end of the third day. Pretty much everything's done. We have the kick panels on both sides. Completely done. Audio controls in, knobs mounted. Over there on the other side of the steering wheel. We'll show you the uh, blinker we added. We put the seat belts in on the back now, so now he's got DOT approved seat belts. Back seats all back in, nice and clean. Come back here to the trunk. We got the box in and the subs like you saw during the build today. So, all now is final touches and we'll be back. to come over i got an excuse might be holding your hand but i'm holding it loose go to talk then we choke it's like our necks in the news avoid the obvious we should be facing the truth start to think it could be fizzling now kind of shocked because i never really had any doubts look into your eyes imagine life without you build here's our nice custom box right there with our amplifiers in the trunk area nice and clean there's been plenty of shots of this with the tire in walk around on the car we got the lc6i control knob mounted right there that does your base and sub control and then our kick panel one last view of this car this is a 1949 chevy coupe Compatible with uh, all the way up to I think the mid 50s and the earlier 40, 40s, but basically just give you a shot of the car. Nice clean shot of the restoration job on the flat six motor. So I hope you guys enjoyed our build video on this. Tim with Exelon, thank you very much for your quality amps and products to make this job happen. Uh, like I said, if you would like more information, give me a call 310-827-8121 or email saturndrcmedia at gmail.com.